across the world, hunting is the same but different. Russian-born Alex Vankov knows that well, especially when he tries to export his adopted British deer stalking culture Check back home via his YouTube channel. There you go. I never thought I would be able to do something like this in a completely different country, basically. In Europe, UK, people do it hunting because they like it, because they can afford and because it needs to be done. But in post-USSR countries, it's more meanings of survival. First, let's find out how to pronounce fallow deer in Russian. Lan. Say again? They would call lan. Evropejska lan. It's going to be a European fallow deer sort of thing. One more time. A what? One more time. Say it again one more time. <laughs> one more time. I want to, I want to try and I try, I try to say it again for me. In Russian or English? In Russian. Evropejska lan. No chance. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Try just lang. 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 Like L A N G, like lang. Uh, no, L L A N J. Lang. 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 Okay. Yeah, you know, lang. It's like you sure upset about something. This. I'm not sure we're going to carry this through the evening. <laughs> no, no. Let's let's not. Let's not. Walk on. Shall we? Yes. Alex's ground is surrounded by non-shooting neighbours, so the deer numbers are high. The value is in the chestnut coppice and the landowner is particularly worried about the pathogen Phytothora remorum, which attacks the trees and is spread by deer, amongst plenty of other things. They move it by their hooves, on yeah. their hooves. Yeah. And obviously the wetter the conditions, the more susceptible the plants are in the roots to that specific um, disease. And obviously, the bigger the population, the more chances you're going to get it in your land. And obviously, when you have it, there is not really many ways you can get rid of it. And it could be very minimal or it could be devastating to the plant. Alex not only has his own YouTube channel, but writes for magazines and is a field tester for GPO and other Ray Trade distributed brands, plus Night Pearl Thermal Gear. It's uh, Night Pearl Puru 25, uh, what is it? Puru 25 Max 2 LRF, fifth range finder. Nice light, very compact. The shooting opportunities in this tightness coppice are going to be close range. Alex decides to stop and wait it out. We get a hint of something, but it looks like we're going to blank. Heading back to the truck and crossing a ride, we have a fox. We probably need to send it to taxidermist. It's probably the best fox I've seen. It's a lovely looking dog fox, but Alex treats it with caution. Foxes is one of the main transmitters of the rabies. Yeah. I would never touch one, even here, without the gloves on. It's, it's just a habit for me. You know, we're always very wary about foxes because they are the main one who would transfer it to the yeah. uh, farm animals and stuff like that. Yeah. So, yeah. As we said at the start, it's all the same, but different. Alex will continue to explain British deer stalking to Russian viewers. Some will embrace it, others won't. If you want to check it out, the link is in the description below.